Welcome back, Facebook and YouTube. Bro Sanchez back with you, and we're going to talk sit, sit, sits, mark of the beast, as promised. And we're going to hop right into it. 666 or 666 is the natural number following 665 and preceding 667, of course. But 666 is called the number of the beast of the book of Revelation of the New Testament and also in popular culture, also in most manuscripts as well. Now, the divine thing about the number 666 as it relates to mathematics is that 666 is the sum of the first 36 natural numbers. That is very, very divine because in mathematics, the natural numbers are those used for counting and ordering. In common language, words used for counting are cardinal numbers and words used for ordering are ordinal numbers. 666 is the sum of the first 36 natural numbers and to show you what i mean about the divinity of this combination and just the number six in general for example one plus two plus three equals six and 34 plus 35 plus 36 equals six 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 and thus it is a triangular number a triangular number or triangle number counts the objects that can form an equilateral triangle as in the diagram you are seeing so you can really get deep into triangular numbers by visiting the description links. And maybe you guys can open my mind up to some more things. Because um, in geometry, an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all three sides are equal. Okay, that's plain and simple. So basically, when we talk sit, sit, sits, if you look at this equilateral triangle, you can see how each angle is 60 degrees. You can have a bigger triangle that would still be be an equilateral triangle if you made each corner 90 degrees you can expand it based on these triangle numbers so all of these numbers are associated with the trinity and 666 is pretty much the number for infinity basically when we say eternity we are saying e trinity and when we say e trinity that's kind of like what einstein was trying to tell the world when he was saying e equals mc squared they can't come out with the truth they hide the true knowledge behind these formulas and glyphs the formula that einstein gave to the world is just a glyph formula but you will never read it right or you will be thrown off with the illusion behind it if you interpret it the way they show you to interpret you have to see through the lines people and you have to decode what they give you and look at it the way that the occult is looking at it because the truth is hidden in their sciences so the triangle numbers are very significant now they want the whole world scared of the mark or the beast but remember the beast is Hathor the beast is the cow this is why we say holy cow because cows are holy this is why cows are the number one butchered and slaughtered animals this is why we had a bull fight there's a lot of desecration of the cow and this is all symbolic in the desecration of the cow goddess see the cows are fertile the cows are responsible for grazing on the grass and as they migrate upon the earth they actually plant the seeds of the earth grass Grass is the foundation of it all. From the grass come the trees and all the fruits and the cows play a significant role in the soil, in nature. But we have all the cows on the slaughterhouses and nature is collapsing because we have bottled the natural resources up and put them on store shelves to rot for profit when they need to be in the aid of nature and free in nature. So what you have is ships carrying tons and tons of raw resources, chopping up trees and nature bottling it up and packaging it up on the shelves and the world is just madness today now we should not fear the mark of the beast because this is the code of nature this is actually what connects us back to balance because it is simply the trinity it's carbon it's melanin it's everything that gives everyone under the sound of my voice existence but when they have you it's strange to the creation then you can see how we have no problem assisting them in destroying the creation and also continuing to be slaves and uphold the liars so i'm giving you the truth here today all you have to do is accept it and get out of the spookism so notice that 36 equal 15 plus 21 15 and 21 are 
are also triangular numbers. In base 10, 666 is a rep digit and therefore a palindromic number and a Smith number, a prime reciprocal magic square based on 1 and 149 in base 10 has a magic total of 666. So I want you guys to grasp the significance of what was just said. I'm going to simplify this for everybody who still may not understand why 666 is a triangular code of infinity in my opinion and according to all the facts even scientists can't deny this they can only hide it but i'm showing y'all this simple science here today basically to understand this just realize in mathematical numerous systems the rates or base is the number of unique digits including zero used to represent numbers in a positional numeral system so let me interpret what that means basically the first number which there is no such thing really is numbers because each number is really a formula each number is a code what we're calling numbers should start at zero that should be the first glyph or number the rates or base is the number of unique digits including zero okay most of us are familiar with starting at zero back in the day when we was doing certain projects in class that's really the true thing now the zero really represents the spiral that's the spiral when you look at the glyphs you're looking at the zero the zero often has a line going straight through the middle when you draw it that way you're just looking at the earth planetarium or the balance because when you say balance you're saying ball lanced when you take a circle and you lance it with a spear in its center you create the yin yang or just the symbol of balance you know half and half it's that simple people that symbol is a trinity because you got one half of the circle then you got the line then you got the other half so that's three elements creating this system of balance so just remember balance is ball lance when we talk about balance keeping the prime reciprocal magic square in mind we're going to get into the system of Saturn here in a minute and show you a little just a little deception on that so a prime reciprocal magic square based on 1 and 149 in base 10 has a magical total of 666 so as you can see in this picture will be another example of your triangle numbers the numbers that you see in gray are your main triangular numbers and as you can see they end at 105 and again the sum total of all the uh, blocks that creates the outer barrier of the pyramid itself when you talk 60 60 60 is 105 so 105 is 6 so this is divine stuff right here and as we move on you're going to see what I'm talking about now here's another example right here you can see how one dot and then as you move up to create your triangle you go to 3 and then you move on to 6 and then you move on to 10 these are the numbers that will allow you to build a triangle and these are the numbers that create the trinity or eternity that creates reality alright and also the macabre is composed of these triangles keep in mind when we say triangle we're talking about trinity angels today we separate science from god we separate science and math from the thought of a creator we feel that should be separate that's the most foolish thing and that's the biggest problem right there why humanity is lost today any society that uses math and science while denying the existence of a creator will never unlock the secrets of the creator Please ponder deeply on that as we move on. The triangle is the Trinity angel. And I'll be breaking down to you how all of this stuff later became interwoven into the religious texts. And this knowledge that could set the world free is actually used to divide and conquer while the elites hide this very simple, simple science. Okay, so let's move on. And this is another picture of an equilateral triangle. As you can see, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. And when you add those up, you get 180. One plus eight equals nine. And we all know that nine is another number that is relative to 666 because it's a number that relates to the Trinity or the three. The number three is just a Trinity. That's why it shapes like a trident. That's why when we say eternity, it starts with the E. Keep in mind also that E is the fifth alphabet. And when we talk about the number five, that's two and three. And when you say two and three, you're talking about the two trinities which 
creates the six again or the six pointed star. The two trinities is the Kananga. So these two threes even go back to why Michael Jordan number was so popular. The number 23 has a very hypnotizing effect to it when we deal with numbers because again, the subconscious mind deals with symbolism and numbers are glyphs. So when you see the number two threes on Michael Jordan jersey and you see him with his tongue out, you're looking at the uh, famous pose of the mother goddess Kali who has her tongue out and you're looking at the bulls which is the red bull Hathor and you also looking at the two three on a jersey not to mention Jordan is one of the top selling shoes in world history and will always be all because of his famous symbol with his legs stretched out if you trace that symbol out you will get a triangle so I'm showing y'all how this simple science is used even in marketing to induce the masses to be consumers so for people that always say what brother Sanchez do don't make no sense and that is not important I'm not going to even give any comments to that so Michael Jordan symbol makes the triangle or the trinity the two threes is the two tridents stay tuned for more videos digging deeper into this in the future back to what I was saying about the E when you look at the number three and the alphabet E when you put them together you get the number eight for eternity eternity is really E trinity because trinity plus trinity equals infinity and that's a good way to help you guys remember it trinity plus trinity equals infinity or efinity okay we got to start creating our own words as we unlock ourselves from the matrix because they trapped us in their vocabulary they trapped us in their way of seeing that's why so many people clash with me because they are still seeing through the lenses of the oppressor so infinity is efinity eternity is e trinity Three is tree or tri. When you think of the trident, think of the three. It's all one symbol. Two tridents equal the kananga. Two tridents equal six, six, six. The triple spiral. Now, when we talk about the triple spiral or the triple vortex, this is the same thing NASA give us for the planet Venus. The letter W actually creates the wings for W. So the word wings start with W and the letter W actually shaped like the wings. The wings are revered the wings actually represent all of this cosmology and this science the letter w is the actual glyph for wing and the wing is made by three v's or what they call the triple vortex see when you write the letter w for water for wave which is the rhythm of life this letter w the wave of life is the wings as the wings flap is synonymous to the heart beating you are flying in your macabre right now so when you look at the letter w most people would say the w is made out of two v's but the picture in front of you represents the third hidden v that we often miss so to make wings or to make a w takes a triple vortex or basically three V's. NASA want to turn it into all these space equations and concepts that's baloney. So that goes back to this Venus triple vortex. They tell you that the planet Venus have a dual cyclone or a double vortex. You say, well, that's true, Brother Sanchez. They do speak of a double vortex for Venus, but you just said triple vortex. Well, the planet Venus itself starts with a V. That's your third vortex. That's the hidden V, just like the hidden V that's in the letter W that gives you your wings so it all goes back to the red bull that gives you wings the wings are the horns I won't get into it in this video because I'll be repeat myself too much I did a great job in previous videos so catch up on the series guys and watch them all they gave the devil this trident to hide it from you guys and keep you away from it but yet y'all are still go buy the bubble gum trident and smack on it now let's move on <laughs> now this is a great collage this gives you a a great example of triangular numbers these numbers are what makes the trinity y'all so six 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 is the code of infinity number one as you can see is just a dot or the letter zero as i told you numbers aren't real the circle or the zero is the cosmic egg that's the beginning of everything the beginning of all life is the zero or the egg but the life lives inside of the egg not on the surface of the egg so as a 
above, so below, you're not on the surface of a globe, you're inside of a cosmic egg, and the trinity is the fabric of life, it's what creates existence, and when you say existence, we're talking about the X chromosome, we're talking about existence, but we're not a curse, the H is silent, so existence is existence, because at the center of the macabre is the hexagon, that is represented by you, the human body, so we're gonna get deep into these triangle numbers and the mark of the beast, everything I'm showing you now is sit, 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 is nothing but a triangle, y'all. So are you still scared of a trinity or a triangle or a trinity angel? It's nothing to be scared of. If you look at this collage in front of you, you can see that once you leave the point of reference or the point of singularity, what they give you for the black holes in their spooky little universes that make no sense. Once you move from one, you go to three. And that is the beginning of the first triangle because we know that the uh, triangle is three sided no matter how big it gets. So the number three itself is actually eternity. That's why it's the E also and it's the trident. And when you flip it around, you get the W for wings also. And when you flip that around, you get the M for mother. You always get the beginning of it all. No matter how you flip this E, you're going to get the beginning. If it's the number three, it represents the trinity. If we turn it to the right, we get the W or the trident for woman or womb man. Okay, the three points to trident or the wings, the W for wings that's worn by the mother. When you flip it to the right again, you get the E for eternity. And when you flip it again, you get the M for mother. You can't escape this. So again, you can see how as you keep building this triangle into bigger triangles, you can't escape none of these triangle numbers. So the next number would be six and so forth and so on. As you can see, 10 would be the fourth triangle. And if you look at this, the number 10 is significant because that's the number where all of your numbers begin to repeat again. That's out the nine. Nine is actually a symbol that means do again or repeat spiral, just like the six. Out the nine, you go to 10, you can see the triangle is built again and it started from one and it start back again from one and your next one will be 15. When you add that up, you get six again. Go all the way back to the number one. If you look at the number three here that made the first triangle, after that we went to six, then we basically went to the number one again. We end up at 15, which is the number six, okay? Then after that, you end up at 21, and when you add those together, you get three again, which is the trinity or the trident. We can't escape these glyphs, okay? So understand when you say 21, that's seven times three. Seven plus three is 10, and that's a triangular number. So we got to understand the divinity of these triangular numbers. So out the 21, we would go to the next number that can build a triangle out the 21 would be 28. And if you put those numbers together, you end up at 10 again. Okay. And the next number after that, that can do it would be 36. And you put those together, you got nine again. The next number will be 45. Again, you got nine again. So you can see all of these numbers, the three, the six, the 10, okay, the nine, even the seven are related when we get into this science. All right, let's move on. So what you're looking at now is what you get when you start connecting the angles from a triangle. You always end up with a X with a line in the middle. This is the Tibetan wheel. This is the hexagon. This is the fabric of life that we see. The honeycombs is actually the gram. The gram is actually the grid or the ground. So what we deal with when we talk about the G and the R, we're talking about things relating to the ground, which later became a GR word that they used against us called gravity, what they said holds us to the ground, but that's not true. It would be more like grace. But since religion or the idea of a creator is separate from modern science, the magic of the creation is lost. No one has a sense of awe about creation. And when we say awe, that's the root word of awesome. So since no one has a sense of awe about the creation and no one thinks the creation is awesome, then we trash the place because we're told there's heavens outside of this one. I'm here to tell you today, people, that you are eternal energy. You cannot cease to exist. You will always be born into this cosmic egg. Only thing about it is you don't know what state you're going to come here in. So if you under the sound 
sound of my voice and his truth is resonating with you, then please accept it, brothers and sisters, because what you know, you take with you on your journey, on your cosmic journey. And a lot of babies are being born today with a lot of information and we're regaining this consciousness as we evolve in these life cycles. So the truth is awakening the masses today, but there's a lot of stigmas attached to it. So you have truthers like myself who go through the tedious task of making these videos. But if we didn't love to do it, we wouldn't do it. So let's move on again. When you take a triangle and you draw a line from each point, it always creates the Tibetan wheel. And you will see this pattern everywhere. All right. You will see it everywhere. It's very simple. And when we talk about the X with the line through it, you can see in this collage with figure D, it's what forms the hexagon. And the hexagon with the uh, X and the line through it is also the cube as demonstrated in this example. It's simply the cube or the box. And they say that earth and they say that your body is a curse or you're born into sin, but you're really just born into skin. All right. You're just born to skin, not sin. You did nothing in your mother's womb for you to be a curse or a hex. The H is silent. You're simply a result of the X or the hexagon, the spiral energy. You are a projection of a multidimensional existence that's creating a physical physicality as I speak. Earth is Midgard. When you say earth, you're saying heart. The word heart is the ancient word for earth. And that's why earth and heart are the exact same letters arranged in different ways. So the heart is at the center of the body, just like the earth is at the center of the cosmos. No globe head will refute this cosmology from a level of metaphysics or etymology. And honestly, not from a level of science. In fact, either. All right. So I'll, I will be continuing to uh, dive in both of those areas with this cosmology, science and the mythology. And in my attempts to blend together back the ancient sciences and do away with the segmented mentality that we've been indoctrinated with. So again, you can see it's the bow ties on both sides of your macabre. Check out my previous videos where I've explained the macabre science. If you're not following me thoroughly with the series, you're really missing out on a lot. So if you look at figure C, this is show you where you get your recycle symbol from and also where you get your Mitsubishi symbol from. When you put three triangles together in that form, you're doing nothing but creating the cube or the Tibetan wheel. Whenever you put three triangles together like that, you create the cube. What happens is three triangles is a tree arc. And uh, when we talk about the tree arc, this is significant. When you talk about basketball, the three pointer taking place behind the arch. Okay. I have future videos getting into the sports. It's just so much symbolism to the code that it's taking me a minute to get round to everything but i am getting around to it slowly but surely i'm only one man and i really appreciate you guys for tuning in i really appreciate y'all encouragement we're gonna move on with this thing y'all uh what we got here next so this is again the outline equilateral triangle is 105 units and that equals up to six so we can't escape this science we got to realize that amounts are really illusions there's only one one pattern, one code of existence. And when you start weaving these sitzes together, you create the DNA strand. So it's very simple science. When you say matriarch, the first two letters being ma and the last two connections being tree arc. So you're talking about a trinity of mothers or what would be called the X chromosome, the trinity of the mother or the trident that brings everyone into existence, that X chromosome, which was the birth of it all, even the cosmic egg from the cosmic mother, because balance is what creates existence. And if you were to look at balance in a symbol form, the most balanced symbols you will see in existence will be the triangle or the pyramid the arch and the letter X. Okay. And all of these like the square, the grid and everything which stacks up upon all of the other dimensions to create existence. So the ground you walk upon is actually a dimension of this reality as well as the sky, as well as you, you're an aspect of this dimension. All right. So we really got the grass wet dimensions are. They are really building blocks of the cosmic egg. I don't want to get into all of that in this video. I basically want 
wanted to cover six, 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 and I feel confident that I did just that, okay? If I left anything out, you guys can feel free to get in the uh, comment section and ask questions. Thank y'all for tuning in and checking out six, 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 Mark of the Beast and understand the truth behind the rapture. Don't crucify me disagreeing, even though I can't see how anyone can disagree with all the facts presented. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. New uploads every Thursday. Peace, Peace and much love. Much love, much love, much love.